Charlotte Flair is out for nine months due to knee injury. Liv Morgan is arrested with this beautiful mugshot. Sasha Banks, Mercedes Monet's AEW plans no more. Is she coming to WWE? Welcome everyone to Dream this is DS. And the Sriracha Muchacha, Paloma Star. And we are here again for the emergency news and rumor episode. I'm just glad it's not like a mass exodus uh, emergency episode where like everybody gets released. And yeah, stuff. yeah. We got people injured and yeah. you know rested, but it's okay. It's okay. At, least <laughs> I, at least I still have jobs. Lately we've been doing news and rumor only when like big juicy yeah. things happen and this is a juicy episode. It really is. Let's start with... Okay, that's, that was a no, terrible. No, sorry. I was sorry. wondering what was going on. Wait, I should be like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this is sad. Charlotte Flair, the queen, is injured and she's out for nine freaking months. I thought it was kind of weird that they didn't really say what knee injury it was, mm. but it sounds like an ACL because ACL is usually nine to 12 months. Okay. Because it was like a meniscus or MCL. It's more yeah. of like a shorter time because they didn't really say what it was, right? They didn't. Apparently, the injury was described as likely worse than just a torn ACL. So she might have exploded it, like MCL everything. Interesting. If it's really an ACL and exploded everything, nine months is a sh very short amount of time. It? It's literally like 12 months. Did like, you see minimum. the spot? Oh. Uh, and then as soon as she lands, she does say my knee. Some people are also pointing out. Oh. Yeah, what do you think? I think maybe the first moonsault was like a little like wonky, like, oh, that kind of sucked for my knee. But mm. I think that second one was really like, oh, shit, I really damaged my knee. So maybe I think maybe in the first one was just like a slight tear. Maybe. Okay. And the second one was like an explosion. Because as soon as she lands, you could tell her telling little Nate, my knee. Yeah. So she like knew. But still went on throughout the match. She, she finished the match. Yeah, yeah which is awesome. Well, always impressive when somebody finishes the match when they're in injured, for sure. Yeah. Especially in WWE. Like, in WWE, like, you almost, like, you don't have to. It's cool. <laughs> but, like, I feel like a lot of people are, like, in these have, like, this weird, like, pride thing that they need mm. to finish the match. I think it's al almost worse when it's, like, a non-contact injury whenever it's, like, just something crazy like that or, like, just stepping. Yeah. So, we'll see. So, nine months injury means she'll be gone until, like, August yeah. or September, which means she's definitely going to miss, miss WrestleMania. Rumble, WrestleMania. Which a lot of people were thinking this would be the year of Bianca Belair versus the Queen. EST versus the Queen. That's like yeah. a dream match. That's the match that Bianca herself wanted For too. For sure. I feel like this is definitely disappointing because I would love to see her in mm -hmm. WrestleMania, whatever she would be doing, whether it be Bianca, because you know, that would be an amazing match. For sure. Definitely wanting to see how it, this shakes things up. I mean, of course, you never want to see anybody injured regardless right. of what you think of them. But I feel like this might be that time for somebody else to step up. It's it's curious case because they're again teasing like Bianca versus Damage Control again and I'm like no. Not again. Bianca versus uh, Charlotte was definitely a WrestleMania marquee match for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. But I don't think Bianca versus Damage Control is, yeah. has that, holds that same. Because we've seen that like a lot. 200 times, so <laughs> we do not want to see that. So Charlotte Flair is slated to go knee surgery in the coming weeks. Charlotte Flair reacted to this with a heartbreak emoji. Oh, sad. Isn't it crazy that Charlotte was just in her first war games she and she did that? Fine, no yeah, problem. Yeah, nothing. And then just on random SmackDown. Yeah, just never know. Yeah, because injuries can happen Crazy. anytime. I know. And what does that say? Morgan and Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I want to talk about our sponsor for this episode, Morgan and Morgan, the 21st century law firm that's changing the game when it comes to injury claims because injuries, like what happened to Cheryl Flair, can happen anytime. Unexpected. You never know. You truly never know. I mean, I've been injured so many random ways, so many random times. You truly never know. And I know contacting the lawyer sounds scary and complicated and even sometimes it's totally unnecessary, but it's a must in the unfortunate event of like say a car accident your first move should be calling a personal injury attorney no need to worry about money with morgan and morgan it won't cost you a dime mm -hmm. unless they win your case that's good that's good and morgan and morgan made the process super easy you can submit a claim just in eight clicks or less no more stuffy law offices or endless consultations just you your phone and just eight simple clicks yes you can do it all on your phone morgan and morgan modernized the injury law process you can submit all the case details sign contracts, upload documents, and even share your medical records with just a few swipes. And you can text your attorney and legal team throughout your case. 
So remember, for unexpected events, Morgan & Morgan with lawyers in all 50 states and over 900 lawyers will be there for you to fight tooth and nail to get you the compensation you rightly deserve. You can submit a claim at www.fortapeople.com slash ring the bell or by dialing pound law, that's pound 529 on your phone. Thank you, Morgan & Morgan. Yay! So speaking of Morgan & Morgan, Liv Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> Only one Morgan. <laughs> Liv Morgan is arrested. I know, with um, the most glamorous, beautiful mugshot. <laughs> wow, like, I wish I could look like that if I'm arrested or not arrested. She looks great. So Liv Morgan was reportedly arrested on Thursday night after being stopped on a traffic stop. This took place in Florida, Sumter County. And she was arrested for possession of marijuana. <laughs> Not more than 20 grams, and possession of drugs, possibly synthetic, cannabinoid. <laughs> I'm just a little uncomfortable talking about someone's being arrested, so I'm just like, yeah, but she's uh, she's already bonded out and was released that night. First two things I thought of. I know that this must be a very stressful event for Liv Morgan, but like I said, damn. She looked great. That photo. Those eyebrows were amazing. Yeah. Good. The natural beauty. And the second thing I thought of was like, wait a minute, Florida didn't legalize recreational Mariana? <laughs> that was that was yeah. surprising. Yeah, I mean Florida will also probably legalize <laughs> before they legalize weed for as much as <laughs> come I'm on just now. I'm shocked that out of all places, Florida is this really gonna get arrested over a vape pen? And just for the context, given that we have a lot of viewers outside of the U.S., the recreational use has been legalized in 24 states, and according to research, Americans overwhelmingly 88% say it should be legal for medical or recreational use. So that's just a little context when it comes to America, where Liv Morgan is. WWE apparently is like very much um, okay with it. The report is that WWE has absolutely no heat on Liv Morgan following the arrest, and you know Liv has not been on TV, so it does not change any creative plans because you know she's injured and she's out. Again, no issues whatsoever. Everybody loves Liv Morgan, everybody still likes her, they will joke about it, but whatever. One story making the wave is that apparently the vape pen was not Morgan's, but someone else left it in her Jeep and she just yes. took the blame. I mean, how many times have you like watched cops and people say that's not mine? But yeah. Like, regardless if it's hers or not, like it's just still dumb. So I'm glad to hear that Liv Morgan, this does not hurt her standing in WWE. She is slated to be officially arraigned in February in Sumter County, Florida, but she's also penciled in for some big storylines in 2024, including big build for WrestleMania. I'm glad it's all being taken care of. I mean, she really honestly shouldn't have been arrested, but. And Liv Morgan, I mean, this photo was really pretty too, but have you seen her photos from the Iron Claw, the red carpet? She looked so, uh, whoever the freaking makeup person was, Liv, you should work with her more because you look so good. Killed it. So good. I am excited for her to return. Yeah, me too. I'm yeah. looking forward to it. Maybe, what if they do a whole like Dom gimmick where she's like bad now because she went to jail? <laughs> Oh, she's real bad. She's gonna like, wear it all orange. Like, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see her go against mommy. Yeah, I think that's, that's the feud for all. Or uh, go against her and then have her be like Mama Sita and be like the oh. mini mommy that I was talking about. Okay. 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 Yeah. Thankfully, that is just a happening, and it just it's gonna blow off, Good. and she's gonna come back. Good. 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 And the next news. This is another very juicy news. I literally just found this out like driving over here. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha Banks slash Mercedes Money. So Fightful just reported that the once working plans for AEW and Mercedes Money are no longer working plans. And last we saw Mercedes on any wrestling program was back in August when she was just casually watching yeah, All In. And they were like, the multi-time women's champion. It was looking like they were really gonna work yeah. something out. But now it's no longer working plans. So this also caused a lot of people speculating that, oh my God, Sasha might be coming back to WWE. Yeah. And that's definitely happening. If Punk came back, there's literally no doubt in my mind. Like, anybody can come back. Jazz is going to come back at this point. Hopefully. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> I, I love that so much. Me too, WWE. Jazz, we're all fame. Yeah. 2024. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, I'm like 90% positive she's going to come back. Yeah. I don't know when. But I know she's definitely going to come back. Do you think she was like seeing what's going on with the AW women's division and be like, I don't think I can help this. <laughs> a little bit, but also like when you have as much talent as she does, why wouldn't you want to work at the top of regardless of what you think of WWE, regardless of what you think of them, you, that is definitely the top because they have the most exposure, the most money, the most everything they could do. So why wouldn't you? 
yeah. take your talents there back. Plus, I'm sure she saw like everybody coming back, with Punk coming back, right. Vince no longer being necessarily in the picture, but I definitely see her coming back for right. sure. So Sean Ross from Fightful also talked about how he hasn't heard any talks between Mercedes and WWE, so they're, you know, but also CM Punk thing nobody heard mm-hmm. about, so maybe they're really good at hushing, hushing now. But he also reported that the number that she's after is a lot. That is, quote, so she's looking for some big money. Chingle, chingle. Oh, money. Some good <laughs> chingle, chingle. But this is, though, I have to say, I need to put some context around this. We don't exactly know yeah. how much she's looking for, but I feel like I just have to put this in context because we're saying, like, oh, my God, Mercedes money asking for a lot of money. She's, like, so, like, big ego, whatever. But the thing is, let's take us back to 2022, 2021. This is an article I found. And Sasha Banks' salary back then was 250 k which is a lot. Yeah. But can you believe that her... Salary was below Carmella, Nia Jax, Natalia, Bailey, Asuka, Alexa, all of them. What? Yeah, and this is again 2021, 2022 article. Only people that's getting paid more than a million dollars was Ronda Rousey, Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch. And Sasha was like 250K. That I am shook if. Like, what? Wouldn't you be mad? What? If you are Sasha Banks? What? Yeah, no, give her her bag. She yeah. Her, her bag and her flowers and everything. Like, what? That is so surprising to me. She needs to get back paid for what she yes. got paid back in the day. The wage gap is real, but I didn't think it was going to be a wage gap between the women like that, too. Wow. What? <laughs> I'm so surprised. So surprised. I mean, the women deserve what they're getting paid, but right. so does Sasha. Like, <laughs> I'm not saying pay the other women less. I'm saying pay Sasha more. Like, yeah. what are we doing here, yo? Like, Isn't this shocking? Like, I am literally shook. It's like, what? Like, so many people would just go like, oh, Sasha Banks just like so big headed she's so arrogant whatever but if you see how she was actually treated in WWE yeah. you ought to be f- yeah and what? the value and the eyes that she brought in and she the talent regardless of everything else the talent like it, it was worth it so I can see why she's asking for a lot of money and WWE has the money especially now that they merged with the whole like TKO thing and they have the money and mostly she is worth it yeah and she knows her worth and I'm glad she does yes ask for that money girl get it see all the numbers she moved for the New Japan Pro Wrestling exactly yeah, worth, worth every penny. For so, sure. Sasha, Mercedes, you go, girl. Last news we want to talk about is the Women's Wrestling Fan Awards Yay! going on. The vote is going on right now. Yeah, so vote now so you don't yell at us because your favorites didn't win. It's your fault. <laughs> yeah. So the nomination process was already over. So nominees are now on DivaDirt.com so you can vote right now. I just, we didn't really do the nomination video this year because I was, I was stuck in Alaska. I'm really sorry. But let's go through like some of the yeah. big ones. Wrestler of the Year, we have Io Sky, Rhea Ripley, Becky Lynch, Julia, Trinite, Bianca Belair. Ooh, I like these picks. Right? All really Strong good, one. solid picks for sure. I love how it's a little bit all around, all across the board because I feel like sometimes these can be very, very WWE heavy. Yeah. So I'm glad there's a little bit of a mix and everything. But all these women have definitely have great years for sure. I'm having difficulty picking the one. I'm leaning towards Trinity. Ooh. Yeah, Trinity or Io is what I'm going for. for sure. ah. I mean, Rhea too, but also I feel like Rhea more as a package as opposed to like her specifically. I was going to say Becky Lynch. Ooh. Like, she has so many interesting programs. Trish Stratus, Tiffany Stratton, Lila Vicaria, Um, And she really worked hard to yeah. make some people work. She really did. Not sure if everyone worked, but she really tried. <laughs> so, uh, the way that she, like, almost formed her own path outside of the championship storyline, I think uh, that's my pick. But don't be swayed by our opinion. That's just our humble homosexual opinion. <laughs> Match of the year. Charlotte Flair versus Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania 39. Mercedes Monet versus Kyrie for the New Japan Battle in the Valley. Becky Lynch versus Trish Stratus. Cage match payback. Oh, that was so good. Bianca Belair versus Io Sky. Backlash. Mercedes versus Azumi versus Azuki. New Japan. Genesis. And Jordan Grace versus Mickey James. Title versus career at Hard to Kill. I always love these because you like get to go back like, oh yeah, that match was amazing. The way that Mercedes is in two. Twice. And she didn't even wrestle that many times. I know. Because she was injured pretty quickly. She really deserves all the pay. That This is a tough one. This is a tough one for sure. I mean. You know my pay. <laughs> We also have Breakout Star of 2023 one, Julia Hart, Tiffany Stratton, Willow Nightingale, Eo Sky, Zoe Stark, Elira Valkyria. These are always, I feel a little bit harder to pick because like, what do you really base on at Breakout Star for sure? Because I always feel like, for example, Eo, like, she's been a star. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where have you been? And 
just because she has a title now doesn't mean she's like a breakout star. She's been a star, but I don't. I feel like Tiffany. Yeah, mm-hmm. Tiffany is a strong one. I was almost thinking Julia. The way okay. she just yeah. meteoric rise with the and I love character. that she just like went all in on that character, yeah. and I believe it. I believe it. She's a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> then don't spit on me. So these are some of the stuff that you will get to vote on. Go vote right now, uh, cause we're wrapping up the vote on Wednesday, and we're gonna film our yay. Little... Where we dress up our cue and film awards and the winners. Can't wait. That's gonna happen this coming week. So yeah. I'm very excited about that. So go vote right now. But thank you so much for joining in for this emergency news and rumor episode, Paloma. I'm so glad I'm not talking about everybody getting fired. So I'm just here for that. <laughs> Where can we all find you? You can find me at Paloma Star on Instagram and Twitter and you can find me at a Chicago magazine near you come February wow. yay I'm That's so sick. excited being featured in an article it's actually going to be a photo essay about the lucha libre scene here in Chicago and I'm one of the luchadores featured so I'm very excited about that I have a photo shoot coming up with them it's a prestigious magazine on their Chicago Tribune so you are just going on there every prestigious stuff let's go and you can find me at DS on Instagram and ring the bell DS on Twitter alright see you next time bye, bye. Bye.